So, taking up the energy, uh, it is a great welcome or a warm welcome to all the people joining me. So, good evening, dignitary, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests. I am Monica Banki, your Sergeant at Arms or SAA. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this demo uh, meeting of Club Toasters. Before we proceed, let me announce a few ground rules to, the, to follow. Since this is an online meeting, it is important that everybody mute is on mute, our audio while speakers are presenting their speeches. To ensure smooth conduct of the meeting, kindly refrain from speaking on tablet of the topics like religion, politics, sex in your speeches. Please switch off your mobile phones and keep them on silence while during the meeting. It is best to have your video video on while the speaker is speaking. However, it, is, it uh, affects the overall quality of the meeting, the host may request you to switch off the video. Be mindful of your background at home when we, the video is on. Sit in a quiet place with a zero disturbance or a background noise. Uh, at your home, you know where your washrooms are located, so please feel free to use them. Let me read out the, uh, the mission of the Toastmaster Club. We provide a supportive and a positive learning experience in which the members are empowered to develop communication and leadership, leadership skills, resulting in the great confidence, self-confidence, and personal growth. Now it is time to introduce our presiding officer to open this meeting. Distinguished Toastmaster Christopher Almeida, he was born in Mumbai, India, brought up in Qatar, as a uh, computer science graduate from Mumbai University, India, and is currently working with DSL Express Qatar as an IT director for last 17 years. He is a committed Toastmaster, better known as Chris, has been with the Toastmasters fraternity in Qatar since the last 13 years, and is a winner of several recognitions within the fraternity. More notably, the LGM Clubber Re uh, Revival Award from the District 20 at a, D, a, D, a DTHC 2012 and 2013, Best Area Governor in Division 2, 2014-2015, only area to become the President Distinguished this Area, achieved Triple Crown and won the Outstanding Toastmaster for the Air awarded from Koken. Toastmaster Club term 2016-2017. He is the youngest DTM from Qatar in 2016. So, after giving such a wonderful introduction to Christopher Almeida, over to you uh, as a presiding uh, Toastmaster. Over to you, Christopher. Thank you. Thank you, Monica, for that lovely introduction. Fellow Toastmasters, yes, a warm good evening to all of you. How many of you are attending the club toasted meeting for the first time? Can I see your hands? Not the virtual, your hands physically. Come on. Okay, four out of, we have what? 17 people. Thank you. <clears throat> Great. Let me ask you a simple question. We've been talking about Toastmasters Pathways program for quite some time now. Can anyone tell me what are the five core competencies that Toastmaster International focuses on or the Pathways program is built on? Anyone? I've been talking about this all this while, and I'm sure I want to see how alert are you? Leadership skills. Leadership, yes, good. We call it strategic leadership. Good. Is that uh, Azad? Yeah, that's yeah, Azad. Azad. Yeah, thank you, Azad. Uh, Let's give others an opportunity. Public speaking. Public speaking, wonderful, Juliet. Well done. So that's two, three more to go. Thanks, Noor. Noor self confidence. Also. Self confidence, absolutely. Confidence. Who was that? Uh, Chitra. Chitra. Chitra, Thank you, Chitra. So we got three, two more to go. Interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication. Thank you. And the final one. So state. Somebody said? Is it's it management? Public speaking. Of state. Public speaking. 
That's the five core competencies that Toastmasters International focuses on. Public speaking, strategic leadership, confidence, uh, management, and interpersonal communication. Five. Are you ready for the next quiz? Hang on. Let's not, let me not finish all my quizzes today. I'll keep the remaining for the next meeting. I really missed all of you for the last three weeks. I was so excited that last Saturday I joined early and I was waiting to get started. And then I looked at the agenda, the meeting is on this Saturday. And I'm sure most of you had the similar experience. I seen on the group, they were all excited. Having said all this, let me start with a story. How many of you like stories? Wow, everyone loves stories. A little boy was crippled and the doctors said, you know, there is nothing can be done about him. Nothing can help him. So his mother took an orange crate, put him in, tied a rope around it and tied a rope on her waist and pulled him around her because he was crippled. Nothing can be done, right? After a while, the boy developed a habit that his mother didn't like. He began to rock his box. Sometimes he rocked it to a point that he even tipped over and fell out. No matter how many times he did, his mother carried him and put him in that same box. He kept doing it again and again. Eventually, he developed a habit that nobody liked it. He began to rock his box. Finally, there came a point where he was able to get out of that box. And that's for everyone's amazement. He was able to learn to walk and he ended up having a good life. That little boy did something which the world, his mother, the doctors did not believe that he could do. He refused to settle to be inside that box that the world around him had tried to put him in. Has someone put you in a box today? Today in a world where everyone loves to give you advice, are you ready to set yourself free? Are you ready to learn something new? Change your habits, change something. We have a lot of self-appointed experts who would like to tell you that this cannot be done, that cannot be done, you are not good for this, you're not good for that. Are you ready to get out of the box? I am ready to get out of the box. Any doctors in this meeting today? Do we have any doctors? Okay, no, no issue. I'm sure you have heard in the past that I've mentioned that in our body, we got 340 pressure points. 28 of them are in our palm. Okay. And if you notice, Toastmasters has a habit, a lot of applause that happens during the meeting. First, we encourage the speaker for making an effort that he or she has put to take up a role. And second, we applaud once he's finished, after his role is completed, to acknowledge or appreciate the competence that, or the skill that he has showcased. Now, don't you feel that I deserve a big round of applause? Can I give, can I have a big round of applause? It is also to make you feel fit. Wonderful. Now on this excitement, let me call upon the Toastmaster of the day. This Toastmaster of the day is a very jovial personality. Oops. Before that, I need to do a very interesting thing. I need to call this meeting to order. I would like to call meeting number six to order. Wow, I was too close in breaking Robert rules of order. Coming to the Toastmaster of the day, we have a jovial personality, a Toastmaster since January, 2020, member of Oryx Toastmaster, Philcom Toastmaster, Met Shani, Digital Club in UK, you name it, the program quality director of Division G, a member of our very own club, Toasted. She's a mother of two lovely children, and she claims to be a wife of a supportive husband. Her belief is live and let live. 
she works for the world's best airline qatar airways going places together the more you come in contact with her the more one is impressed with the power house of her energy put your sanitized hands together to welcome the diva who is very sassy in red vivacious wonder woman rinku saha rinku the virtual screen is all yours you know what after listening to that introduction i forgot my script thank you distinguished toastmaster chris such a wonderful and warm introduction and thank you for adding those adjective sentence and you are master of english language thank you and from bottom of my heart i'm grateful for the warm introduction presiding officer again distinguished toastmaster chris area 28 director dipti potnes keynote speech speaker distinguished toastmaster Louis, who joined all the way from Mexico, District 113. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, a lovely afternoon and good evening. And whichever zone you follow, please follow that uh, timing uh, zone. Anyway, I'm absolutely thrilled to be the Toastmaster of the day today and ready to talk on soft skills and how soft skills are connected with our professional and personal life let's explore soft skill is also known as power skills first may i have any volunteer from here who can talk about uh, give some example of soft skills or power skills is the same anybody let's uh, be a little more interactive isn't it let's start with anyone what is soft skill what do you know about soft skill any volunteer the personality development yeah like absolutely you the way, the way you communicate projecting yourself absolutely wow yes yes anybody else anyone developing your body language along with your communication oh bang on juliet soft skill are our ways of thinking as well as our interaction and navigation through social situations with others recently harvard university research found that only 15% of job success comes from your technical skills and 85% comes from your soft skills isn't it so interesting 85% and 15% from our technical skills our soft skill have huge impact in our life in our personal life in our professional life that's why i chose this topic today and today i'm going to share more knowledge about soft skill so let me share my screen to give you an idea more idea about it screen you all can see my screen now uh these are the examples of these are the example of soft skill or power skills optimism curiosity tenacity flexibility learning generosity joy teamwork drive ethics empathy followership happiness patience kindness forgiveness you know what if i if i'm going to talk about all this thing i think i need minimum four meetings yeah so i picked up six key points and i'm going to talk about that my my screen is stopped right okay so so the six main key points of soft skills are positive mindset communication learning followership empathy and kindness positive mindness one of the greatest soft skill we anyone can ever possess we all know about this saying morning shows the day right but what i believe your positive mindset will show your day and determines your day as well when faced any stressful situation you know positive thinkers cope 
more effectively than pessimists, rather than dwelling on their frustration or complaints, they can't change anything, they immediately devise a plan of action and ask for support, help, assistance, and advice. Most importantly, when you are, you are having a positive mindset, you are more productive in your personal life, in your professional life. So now with our positive mindset, let's proceed further. Honestly, to this topic, uh, I find is very serious. Can you add some humor? What do you say? We can add some humor? Okay, so let's get started. For the benefits of guests, let me share what a Toastmaster meeting consists of. There are generally three segments, but today we have an additional speech, which is called keynote speech, where DTM Louis will discuss how we look more young, beautiful, handsome, professional, stylish, so many things. Wow, wow. Now we have more reason to join Toastmaster, isn't it? So now coming to our general uh, point that we do have three segments. First segment is called prepare speech. Today, we have only one speaker, which is Area 28 Director Dipti. And you know what, this prepare speech session, speaker will talk about her boring story, Dipti will deliver a boring speech, and we do not have any option but to listen to her. That's our first segment. Second segment, it's a roller coaster ride. Oops, it's table topic session, which is called impromptu session, where you will see ah, speakers going to hypertension, oh, maybe headache, so much pressure. Oh, it is called table topic session. It's fun, believe me. Last but not least is the general evaluation session where the general evaluator and evaluator will drill and grill the evaluators and the prepare speech, table topic speeches, and it will be a lot of fun. So what we are waiting for? So let's begin with the first session on the agenda, which is our keynote speech. Our keynote speech will be, okay, oops. Okay, I was about to break the rule. Before I proceed, let me introduce the team players. I think, uh, Chris, you gave me that advice. Yes. <laughs> so we have a great team role players. They are called tag team, timer, accounter, and grammarian. Let's explore who are they. Let me welcome our first team player, who is timer, who joined Toastmaster in 2010 in Doha, a charter member in Athena International Toastmaster Club lived in seven countries and in each country, she learned a great deal about the culture and the people. According to her, joining Toastmaster and discovering many things about herself is the best thing happened to her. Let's put our hands together to welcome our timer, Gilda. Gilda, could you please brief us about your role today? Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Rinku. My name is Gilda Schla, and I will be the policeman of this meeting. Keep everything on time. I will be the friendly policeman. I will be timing the, all the sessions of the meeting. The keynote speech, it's 20 to 25 minutes, and I will put the green light or traffic light after 20 minutes, the amber will come after 23 minutes and the red after 25 minutes. We have a question and answer session for five minutes. I will be timing that as well. We have table topics, one minute to two minutes and the green will go on one, the amber will go on one and 30 seconds and the red will go on two. Evaluation, two to three minutes, the green will go on two minutes and the amber will go on two and a half minutes, the red will go on three. And there is a leeway of 30 seconds. Prepare speeches. 
one prepare speech, five to seven minutes. The time will go at, the green will go at five minutes. At six minutes, you'll see the amber and the red will come at seven minutes. I will display the background of the colors to everybody so everybody will be familiar. This is the green, the amber, and the red. And they will all come at the right time. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Gilda. Now our next role player is the accountant who joined Toastmaster last month. She has leadership experience in running business administration programs recognized with Faculty Excellence Awards. She also has 14 years experience in teaching graduate and postgraduate in India, Tanzania, and Qatar. Her hobbies are listening to music and biblical research. She joined Toastmaster to network with people. She is keen on acquiring knowledge and develop her interpersonal skills. With the Toastmaster platform, she could learn to be more creative, to engage with her audience, which would help her to transform lives of her students better. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together for Dr. Juliet. Dr. Juliet, could you please brief us about your role? Thank you, uh, T. Modi. Uh, greetings, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. The purpose of the R counter is to note words and sounds that are used as a crutch or pause filler by anyone who speaks. During the meeting, I will listen for overused words, including and, well, but, so, and, you know. I will also listen for filler sounds, including ah, um, and er. Uh. I will also note when a speaker repeats a word or phrase such as I, I, or this means, this means, at the end of the meeting, I will report the number of times that each speaker used these expressions. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Dr. Juliet. Third role player is Grammarian. Our Grammarian hails from Kerala, India. He studied electronics and communication engineering diploma, BCA and MBA project management. He has been living in Qatar with wife and four son. Easygoing, passionate, Technologists, hobbies are singing, dancing, and listen to good speech. Ladies and gentlemen, put, let's put your hands together to welcome Toastmaster Azad on the virtual screen. Azad, could you please brief your role? Good evening, all. Madam Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests. <clears throat> I think I couldn't put my background screen uh, there is some uh, disturbance in the video, so it is appearing uh, in a different faded color. Anyway, as a grammarian, it is my responsibility to play, pay close attention to all, all the speakers, uh, listening carefully to their language usage. I will take a note of any improper language, as well as any outstanding words, quotes, sayings, or thoughts. As a grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day today, which you can see in the behind the screens of everybody except mine, Resin. The word of the day is the Resin. R-E-S-E-I-N-D. Which means withdraw, cancel. Uh, these are the words that can be used, uh, the synonyms of that one. As an example, I can say like uh, the employees took receive the strike when they when their agreement was uh, uh, fulfilled. Another word I can think of is uh, rescind. Uh, today, my I couldn't play put my video background properly, so I rescind back to my normal video. <laughs> All right, so each speaker is encouraged to use the word of the day. I will give the grammarian report when called upon during the meeting. 
and also report on the usage of the word of the day. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Back to you. Thank you, Ajat. So now let's go to our first session on the agenda, which is a keynote speech by distinguished Toastmaster Louis. He's, uh, he's joining us all the way from Mexico, District 113. Today, uh, we are living in unprecedented times where many of our interactions are online. Many of us are not fully aware of what we are really communicating and how our stage affects our message. In this workshop, you will know and handle the four key elements that will enhance your message in front of the camera and improve your performance when you present online contest, presentation, in your club or at your work. Louis already delivered this workshop in five district, District 91, which is United Kingdom, London, Qatar, District 116, United State of America, District 7, Canada, District 61, and Mexico, District 113. <clears throat> Louis, our speaker, is a distinguished Toastmaster. He has been a member in Mexico since 2012. He has quite some experience about it from the more than 120 virtual contests of over 219 he has been part as a judge. Among some other rules, also he has been a chief judge of district first online contest. He has delivered lectures and workshops in more than 70 organizations in 12 countries. With his workshop in, in front of camera, Louis is going to present a keynote speech. Let me, allow me uh, to share a few words about Louis. What is my finding about him? Last year, we met, I met Louis, of course, on virtual uh, platform in one of my club. And since then, we are not only connected as a Toastmaster, you know, it's more than that, like a friend, like a colleague, you know? And I find he is such a humble, you know, always ready to serve, which uh, holds a to true Toastmaster spirit. Now we are sitting in Qatar, and of course, many of you from different uh, zone, different country, and in Qatar is, 4 30 p.m and louis is connected from mexico and it's 7 30 a.m and he is here to serve toastmasters fraternity to serve our guests and that's why i truly believe i truly admire his toastmaster spirit to support to help to serve and now i'm going to give the stage virtual stage to distinguish toastmaster louis and remember those points what we are going to learn from him today. Louis, the stage is yours. Arthur Ashe once said, start where you are, use what you have and do your best. Rinku, Dear fellow Toastmasters and guests, what is the purpose of the contest? Maybe some of you will say to find the best speaker. To those, let me tell you, you are wrong. There is no better speaker that always win. No, 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 no. We are not here to find the best speaker. This is a fragment of words of Ralph Smithley, our founder, in 1935, March 8th, to be precise. And they were published these words 38 years after that in a magazine of Toastmasters in 1973. Ralph Smithley made the contest not to find the best speaker. After he visited different clubs around the United States where they, they found and they built those masters, 
he realized the quality of the species in the clubs was not good enough. Quality was not good enough. So he was wondering how can we make speakers prepare better for their clubs? So he start the contests and he realized that when a person competes, rise their quality of their species because they prepare more for a speech. Now, why we don't do that in our clubs, in our homes, in our jobs? Every day is a competition with ourselves. So let's compete with ourselves, doing a little better than the day before. Can be just 1%, 1% better than last day, than yesterday. At the end of the year, you will be more than three times better. 365% better. So just imagine just 1%. You don't need to change the world, your world in one day, just a little bit. So how can we increase the quality of our species in our clubs? Very simple. We just have to ask two questions. The first one is, do you want to do better? Thank you, Rinku. Yes. Yes, who else wants to do better? Okay. Now I'm going to ask you, please turn on your camera because this is a little workshop and I need to see your reactions. I need to see a lot of you. So don't be shy. I don't want to resent this presentation. So please open your cameras. Perfect, thank you. Okay, now let me, let me move some of you. Okay, I cannot because I don't have permission, but don't worry. Okay, now, if most of you say, yes, I want to do better. Now let's go to the second questions. You might not like it. Are you willing to feel discomfort? Oh, let me see. Uh, Monica, thank you. Rinku, are you willing to feel discomfort? Uh, some of you may not say nothing. <laughs> it's nature. But when a person wants to do better, first, they have to be willing to be out of the comfort zone. And to do that, you have to be willing to feel some discomfort. So now, let me tell you two ways of getting better. Two ways is very easy. One of them is one that we have teaching and learning in Toastmasters. Christopher will not let me lie. Practice, practice, and practice. Over and over again. You will not be tired of practicing. Practice, 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 number one. Number two, let's quote Einstein. Do you know Einstein? Some of you have heard of him. He's quite famous person in the past, but makes a lot of difference in the present. And he mentioned something like doing things differently. In my words, very easy, doing things differently. So now I will invite you to do things differently when you present a speech in your club, in a contest, or even at your job. If you are not a member yet, please sign in right away because you will get a lot from all these people and from people all around the world, especially if you are online. So as Rinku said, we many times we don't know what we are transmitting, we are in our message when we are talking on a screen. So in the following minutes, you will hear, you will know better the four key elements to make a better impact on your message. Four key elements. Let's start with the first one, background. Let's talk about background. 
Toastmaster International suggest a plain background. Uh oh, <laughs> the speaker doesn't have a plain background. He has three backgrounds. He has the banner, the banner here. We have a piece of wall and we have a curtain. See the window? Yes. Okay, we have three backgrounds, but they suggest a plain background. So to do this, I will have to move my place and feel a little discomfort because right now I am sitting, I am very comfortable and you know, sorry, but I have to move. So let's be a little uncomfortable. Now, let me tell you what is plain. Do this is a plain background? Yeah, okay, yeah, I will say yes, yes, this is plain. We have a little marks, but it's plain. This is not plain because I have two or three backgrounds. Now you can see Depti. Depti is in a plain. Ah, let me, yeah. since I'm going to move, let me show you part of my home. Okay. Let me walk not that fast. Over there, my wife is sleeping. Here, okay. Let me go up the stairs. There are some souvenirs from all over the world. Now, that's my son's bedroom. He's sleeping. And I, I am in another bedroom, as you can see. Okay, let me put my computer here. And here I have the camera. All right. Okay. Now let me turn on, turn. Let me see the door. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now I feel a little bit support showing you maybe my home, some maybe things you shouldn't see, but what happens in Toastmasters stays in Toastmasters, okay? Now, do I have a plain background? No, hard. come on, Rinku, it's just one color. Ah, I see a problem, I see a problem. Ah, from Argentina, I have to put this away, sorry. Okay, they were dancing tango. Okay, now let's see, it is better. Better, Rinku? Yes, now it's better. Now I have a plane. Who has a plane background? Not many of you, as I can see, maybe just Depti and, and he and she has some things on the background. So when you're presenting, you have to do a little better than you are right now, sitting very comfortable. You have to feel a little discomfort if you want to do better and make a better impact on your message. So that is important. Background. Now can be a door. Let's see this. I make closer. Now I have a door. You see my door? This is the, see the, okay, here's the door. You can see. Now that can be my background, see? Now, which one looks better? This one with me or this one? First, first or second? First, the door, the door. Uh, Jonah is not agree and Sahar says, okay, the door. Why? Why the door? To those who say the door, why? Ah, oh, the shirt. Yes, contrast. Contrast is important. I am speaking almost the same color of the wall. So this is another thing very important when we are talking about background. Please, ladies. Don't be shy. Let me do a little twist here. 
Don't be excited, ladies. <laughs> Ready. Now, how do you think now, wrinkle? Is it better? I have contrast. Yes, I have contrast. Perfect. Now, this is element number one, background. Let's go to element number two, distance. Ah, Rinku is remind me that maybe background, Tom, those must recommend something. And actually it was not Rinku, but uh, was our sergeant at arms, Monica, Juliet, Asad, a, a minutes ago when we started the meeting, Marcus, they have all, not right now, Asad, I know, but before you have virtual backgrounds. So when you have virtual backgrounds, they consume more of your internet and the quality of your video is not good. You will see when you make a movement, see, for example, Monica, when she say this, then sometimes the, the white cover her hair and is in the background. You will see a sad why he turned off the virtual background because he was disappearing in the background for inter because consumes a lot. So I suggest, but Toastmaster International suggest, I, I agree with them, not to use virtual backgrounds. Better found a spot on, at your home. You can use the door, I just so showed you, or a wall in another room. Maybe you can go in, in, in the bathroom and do your best over there with, because it's the only place where you will have a wall or you have just to unhang something. So it's very important to transmit better. See if I'm seeing a background where I see, ah, how many chairs Juliet has? One, two, three, four, five, six in one side. Now it's distracting. So my message doesn't get through, all right? So contrast and background. But when we're seeing contrast, you can also wear something related to your topic. Like if you're going to talk about building something or construction, you can do this. But if you go to the far west, yeah, you can talk about cowboys and all that kind of things. So just for a little bit, it's not a big deal. I'm not saying that you do this all your speeches. No, but just a little bit to make a point get through. Now, distance is another thing, very important. But for distance, you have to make changes. What is the distance recommended? First, you have to stand up, not be in seat, and, oh, it's not far enough. So I will have to do a little change. Toastmaster recommends from the waist up. So hold on a sec. Do you hear me? Yes, perfect. Now I can go this far. Now here, if I'm sit in front of you and I move, yeah, you barely can see my hands because I am so close. Look at you, you are so close. But if you're presenting in a contest at your club or a job, do from the waist up. So if I move, I can see the sun, I can show you the window, I can move on the stage. Part A, part B, here, this part of the wall in Mexico, that part of the wall in Qatar, yes. I can use this stage here, so close, I cannot move. I cannot do this stage because it's so little. It, the box is so square. So I need to make it bigger just by doing this. Usually it's like one meter, one meter and a half. Just from the waist up, if you are in pajamas, don't worry. Nobody will notice. That's the reason I say from the waist up. Here, very elegant. Down here, ah. Remember, I am in pajamas and where it happens, something happens in Toastmaster, we'll remain Toastmaster. Nobody tells that I am doing a speech 
in our pajamas. But just one part. Now, distance, now you understand. We have first background, now second distance. We, on the bar, background, we have our clothes. Now, do you see something that keeps your attention a little bit? Let's say a pin. Let's say a pen. And women, some women use also some kind of jewelry when they're presenting. I suggest to eliminate any metal or things that can distract people from your message. Because if they're seeing my pin, they will try to find out. It is from the legacy program. It is from Pathways. It is from Rotary. It is from which organization? It is a DTM, ACG, or a kind of soup of le letters. So eliminate pens or me metal objects like this. See the shining? See the, the, and if you can also your glasses because they are, they reflect. Now, if you're far away, may not that much, but eliminate all reflections. Now let's go to the third, third, element. You want to hear it? You have, you have first and second. You have background and you have distance. Now let's go to the third. The third is very classic. It's like this. One. See. This is the third. How many species have you heard online like this? Talking, the speakers talking down and you see Hey, move your camera up. Okay. So the third element is high. It's important that the camera will be the same high as your eyes. Now, to those who has a laptop, it's not a big deal. You just have to have to put over your desk, maybe a pan, obviously empty, otherwise. It will not be put on your table. So one of these, you can use books to put below your computer. If not good enough, you can use a, a box. Be creative. Let me show you my computer. Now, this is my camera, see? And here's my computer. There is a table, see? A table over a table. This is one table, see the, the okay, table, another table, and this is another table. So two tables and my computer. Here, here's your own screen, see? Now, if you are in a desktop, exactly, you have, you must, use, do a, a camera like this. Let me change cameras. Hold on a sec. Now here I am. This is the camera I was using to show you around. So if you are in a desktop and say, hey, Luis, I cannot raise my computer because it's too heavy. You can use a camera like this. It's very cheap, it's a USB, and you just connect it to your computer. So there's no excuses to raise your camera to the same height of your eyes, something like this. Now, I have background, I have contrast, first element. Second, I have distance. Third, I have the camera, same height as my eyes. Now, you just have to, when you are far away of the camera, it's easy not to see the small squares where you are. It's easier just to look at your camera. Because when we are close, we are looking at, Juna is thinking about what I'm saying. Noor is having fun. Marcus is writing, he's taking notes, good student. Thank you, Marcus. 
And uh, Karina, maybe a little far, maybe she's sleeping. Ah, no, she's awake. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's not her problem. It's a speaker problem. It's my, my problem. So, uh, thank you, Toha. Now you have a nice background. Same like me. Are you at my home? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. Ah, uh, Sahar, you see? It's a nice background. Now, let's go because we are in green to the four element. The four element is lighting. Now, seven o'clock in the morning, here, right, the sun is just raising up. So sometimes I need extra light. Now, let me show you. This is one example. Okay. Now, maybe better, maybe not. But the important thing about lighting is the light should be behind your camera towards you. Behind your camera towards you. Now, let me show you my lamp. I'm not going to ask you to buy a lamp. Why? Because you must have something like this at your uh, table behind your bed. Something like this, very simple. And you just turn it on and turn it off to read a nightstand, a lamp of nightstand. This is one, one way of doing things. Another way of doing things is like something like this. Yes, you can connect it and you have more light. The important thing is to have the light in front of your face so people can see your gestures. This is important to transmit. So now if I am here talking and I turn on the camera, now, maybe you will see me better. I am looking myself very far away because I have all these little squares. Now I concentrate, I contact on the little camera I have and I can speak to you. And all of you will hear that I am speaking just to you. If I am seeing the squares, you will not feel that I am speaking to you. Now, let me go back to my First place, I know red's coming, so let me move faster to my previous spot. So just getting together the four elements, we have distance in second, we have background first. What do we have in on third? Hi, yes, thank you. Third, hi. And finally we have lighting. Perfect. Now, after hearing these four elements, you might wonder what you can do at your home with what you have. You see my, you saw my saucepan, you saw my books, you saw a carton box that you can put below your camera and now finding your, uh, your home. Oh, yeah, you are really working with me. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Uh, Christopher, I, I cannot say that. Even though you have a very nice smile, uh, that, that makes my day same as Jonah and Sahar and Nor and all of you. But to transmit a message, we have to eliminate all things that will de de deviate the interest, the attention of the people from our message. So that's the reason of how the pins, uh, even background, not virtual backgrounds, being stand up so we can use hands, body, body language. Somebody said at the beginning, that's one of the qualities we learn here and soft skills we learn in Toastmasters. So there's very important things. Additional tips, just to be ready. Have your platforms of your computer or devices updated. If you use a cell phone, use it horizontal. Not, don't use it vertical, use it horizontal if you use a cell phone. Now, go to a place as private as possible. Now, if you have kids, when you are doing your presentation, please tell them not to play online, not to see Netflix. Avoid that at least when you are presenting because they will take some of your internet and can affect the quality of it. Now, also have your chargers ready. 
like this. Chargers ready. Have extensions. I have one on the on the floor. Is is orange, like the red uh, Gilda is telling me. And um, also very important, clean your camera lenses. Have some a little path and clean your camera. Okay, I clean mine. All right. Sometimes it's just <laughs> very dirty. Your camera on your screen of your computer. Now, when you move on the screen, try not to move too fast. Move slowly. Avoid, as I told you, shiny things. And let me tell you the fifth element, the one I didn't tell you, the one I, I didn't mention, the one that will really make a difference when you are speaking besides the four previous elements. Do you know what it is? Is enthusiasm. You saw Rinko, you saw Christopher. When you are speaking in front of the camera is one of the key elements, enthusiasm. And let me tell you, a uh, quote from Coco Chanel to close this presentation before, before they present my presentation. A clear message and a good message is prerogative of those who have already taken possession of their future. Uh, Thank you, Luis, for such an inspiring speech. Loved it. As you spoke, I changed my background. I made the distance okay. And I changed the position of my camera just sitting there. And I'm looking better now. Yes. Thank you so much. And the way, the way, the powerful words you said, you know, con contest increases our abilities and potential. They were with words of wisdom. And let's compete with ourselves to make a better version of ourselves in our work, at home, with our family. I think I can agree with more. Thank you so much. And as a token of appreciation, uh, we would like to present you a certificate. I would request Mr. Christopher to give to Mr. Le um, Lewis the certificate now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was great. And I leave the question answer session open for the participants. Uh, you can please raise your hand in the reaction button. You can raise your hands and I'll, uh, we'll go back. We'll come to you one by one. Anybody? Let me just see. Sometimes when we do not have questions. Who wants to? Yes. Ms. Dipti. Ms. Dipti Botnis, yes, you have a question. Uh, thank you, Louis, for your wonderful session. Uh, just one query. Uh, is it, uh, uh, if I wear some checks uh, dress or, you know, uh, the fabric has some design that is going to disturb eyes, uh, that also we need to take care, right? We need to wear plain uh, clothes when we are speaking. So it doesn't affect the eyes of the audience. What do you say? Uh, could you rephrase, please? Uh, when I'm I'm a speaker, if I wear some clothes with checks or lining, that may also affect the visual impact, and uh, sometimes it it causes disturbance to the audience. So, uh, what do you recommend? Like we should wear plain dresses when we are delivering a speech. The the, the more plain, the better. For example, let me see. For example, right now, Poja, Poja has some stripes. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad, but as much plain as you can, the better. For example, see the red of uh, Rinku, it's good. Monica, uh, so far, is I don't know if it's the hair or the black, but <laughs> she's, she's good over there. Asad is too, of course, with the, with the clothes, not the background. Now we have also, um, I mean, most of you are very nice. Uh, Marcus, uh, nice shirt, uh, very nice shirt. Uh, Sahaja, Jonah, uh, Nor, all of them, uh, uh, even even clothes, even our uh, Toastmaster Christopher. Uh, besides the pin, I will eliminate the pin, but the the <laughs> tie and the and the suit looks very nice. Now, for example, Gilda, our timer, she has some some uh, figures on on the on her clothes. Now, let's avoid all kind of um, pictures 
or the or very beautiful designs like like you're wearing Gilda, but not for a speech. For a session, it, it is good, but if you're going to present, avoid that. Better plain plain clothes, same as the background. I don't know if I I answered your question, Deputy. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. And I can request the participants, you, know, you can give the feedback, some comments in the chat section, it'd be very nice and encouraging. Any more questions in the forum, please? No more? Remember, when we, when we don't have questions is because a couple of things can, can happen. One of them, you were sleeping, you were not paying attention. <laughs> That's one of them. So you don't, you don't know how, what to ask. Another one is because I did not explain at all everything, anything. So nobody understood anything. And they're just, just too, too, they're too good to ask something that will uh, make me see bad. So you're, that's a people very kind. And the third one is I did very good job and everybody understood everything. Yes, That's one of the three. I hope it was the, five, the last one, because if we're the first one, the sleeping, is because of the speaker, not because of you. <laughs> Any more questions? Any questions? <laughs> Feel free. Great then, great then. Okay, we have Mr. Mark, Mr. Marcus. Yes, a question from you, please. Well, not so much a question, but Louis comes from a very similar time zone from myself. I am in mountain time zone. And I think Louis is about maybe one or two hours difference. The point is, thank you, Louis, for joining us at an obscure hour. I know how you feel. It is early for me. And I'm sure it's just as early for you. Thank Great. you. Thank you. I'm glad uh, to hear I'm not the only one with a, a weird time zone comparing to this time se uh, session time. Thank you. Anybody else? I think we're done. Okay. Thank you, Pooja. I hand over to you, Deepthi. Yes. Yeah. But to Toastmaster of the day, Rinku. Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you, Louis. Such an informative, useful. Of course, we are conducting meetings and uh, uh, on virtual platform uh, since pandemic started, mostly since pandemic started. So your session is absolutely useful and informative. Thank you. So before we go to the next session, let me talk about the second key point of soft skill, communication. Communication is the act of giving, receiving and sharing information to each other's communication. Communicators listen carefully. Each cartoon network, if you see, the each cartoon character even speak one at a time, how they get connected with us. If cartoon character can teach us how to be an effective communicator, so we can do miracles while communicating effectively. The way you communicate with others reflect about you. How you command says a lot about you. So communicate effectively, express properly. Now we are coming to our officially first segment, which is prepared speech session. Remember, boring or interesting, let's explore. So before we proceed to the prepared speech, seg as, uh, prepared speech uh, let me call uh, the evaluator, Shweta Raghuraman, uh, to read out the project object uh, for Toastmaster Dipti speech. Shweta. Mm -hmm. Greetings fellow Toastmasters and guests, and specifically to my target speaker, or shall I say the speaker whom I have my eyes on for tonight, Toastmaster Deepti. Toastmaster Deepti will be delivering her icebreaker speech, level one, project one, from the engaging human humor path, and it is an icebreaker project. The speaker can deliver her speech in any form that appeals to her. It can be humorous, informational, or as she likes it. And her speech is timed for four to six minutes. Over to you. Thank you, Shweta. So, you know, today I didn't ask for Dipti's uh, uh, introduction. I think I take audacity, actually. I, it's my privilege to uh, 
share my findings about her. Our one and only speaker, she's from India, an experienced Toastmaster champion speaker who reached till district humorous speech contest last year. One of my guru, my mentor, whose actions are much more impactful than her words. Because of her dedication and hard work, Club Toasted is going strong. She's our Area 28 director. She's the one uh, so special uh, Toastmaster, very dedicated Toastmaster, of course, and of course, a very vibrant, energetic, and funny. It's Toastmaster Dipti. Her speech title is Born Humorous, Born Humorous, Toastmaster Dipti. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day for that wonderful introduction. Shakespeare, in his play, Seven Nights, has quoted, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. I would like to tweak, tweak it further and say, some are born humorous, some achieve to be humorous, and some have humor thrust upon them. Needless to say that I was under illusion that I belong to the third category. Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, greetings of the day. Beta 2019, I went, I saw, I tripped over the carpet and fell. Yet I fell in love with the stage, speakers, speeches, and of course, the food. I imagined myself delivering on the stage an inspirational speech and winning a trophy. But all I could carry home was a big dream. One husband of 20 years, two traumatic deliveries, 40 years of life experience, staying in five different places on this planet, changing house a dozen times. What else you need to be an inspirational speaker? And soon I became overweight with inspiration and scripted Finding Dipti. Finding Dipti was emotionally so deep that I myself would cry many times while delivering a speech. Soon I realized I'll be definitely losing Dipti than Finding Dipti if I continue this. So I sought help, add humor and save the audience from crying. Advise my mentor. I don't know what I changed, where I changed, but the speech got changed to missing tile syndrome. It had everything to be an emotional blockbuster. I presented literally rocked the stage with my missing tile speech. The stage was strong enough and no tile went missing. The audience was spellbound with inspiration. After I was done, I was walking down the aisles to the loud round of applause of the audience. One of my admirers approached me and said, are you going to uh, present the same speech in our humorous contest too? I was happy to know that my life was inspiring and hilarious too. Soon, Go deep, 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 deep to be inspirational. I told myself. And I wrote about my life changing spiritual experience of getting a driving license. I pre presented it as my project page in our club. Days before the contest, our VP then approached me and said, why don't you present this speech in our humorous contest? Your driving speech drove me nuts with its humor. I did, and it propelled me to the detox stage as a humorous speaker. I realized one thing. The more I try to be inspirational, the more I'm tagged as a humorous speaker. My tragedies are comedy for others. No wonder my everlasting tummy and my driving escapade have become icons of humor in District 116. 
last year's contest i wanted to be a contest chair or table anything that suits me but my club wouldn't leave me they wanted me to be a contestant inspirational i asked no humorous they all said at once but i i don't have a topic for humor do you need a topic just go and talk people will laugh is there any bottom limit for self deprecation reluctantly i agreed and i started writing a humorous speech i wrote about my husband my mother in law objected family secret should not go out i wrote about my children my husband objected as they take after him then i wrote about my dog and everyone barked at me then i thought of writing about my college affairs no one believed do you realize how difficult it is to write a humorous speech initially i thought humor is thrust upon me then i thought if audience is liking why not to strive to be humorous speaker and i chose this path engaging humor but lately i came to know that people think that i'm born humorous really but bottom line remains same toast master makes you shed all your inhibitions and turns you into a better communicator isn't it toast master of the day back to you absolutely absolutely dipti wow such a wonderful humorous funny everything everything suits you uh dipti thank you now one minute we need one minute silence for the evaluator shweta do you need one minute silence okay please observe one minute silence let me let me laugh out hard one minute to build the okay one minute up now as per the agenda it's time for 5 minutes break but we are running late uh, do we need a uh, break dipti what you suggest uh, i am okay no with no break uh, okay, any, how about other yeah anybody would like to take a break juliet is it for no or yes no it's so inspiring right let's continue let's continue okay let's continue with our theme soft skill followership is a straightforward concept it is the ability to take decision well to get in line behind the program to be part of a team and to deliver on what is expected of you how well our followers follow it's probably just as important to enterprise success as how well our leader leads if you want to become a great leader first become a great follower we must know today we follow and tomorrow we lead with this let's go to the roller coaster rides oops table topic session and our table topic master is today who believes that we should not wait for a day or for a event to celebrate life in itself it's worth to be celebrated every single day she is currently serving as vppr of cbq toastmaster and mcchinney one toastmaster club she is also a division d secretary and area 2 pr manager oof how many roles jona how do you manage 
Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome our topping buster, very dashing, beautiful, and stylish. Most importantly, after Louis Baker, uh, Louis uh, session, she became more energetic, stylish, beautiful, and all this thing adjective on the virtual stay, Jonna Vincent, who will be conducting the table topic session today. Jonna, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day, Rinku. It's a pleasure to join you guys today. And uh, really, uh, Toastmaster Louis' uh, presentation was absolutely stunning, uh, really refreshing as well. So I just wanted to make a note of that before I begin. Now, today's session is, of course, the most interesting, one of the most interesting sessions for today, and that is table topics. As a table topics uh, master today, my, the purpose is to give all the guests and members an opportunity to practice their impromptu speaking. I'll introduce a volunteer or a speaker from the crowd, from the screen, and the volunteer must speak for at least one minute. Okay, you can speak from one minute to two minutes. The time is that. And on the topics can be anything today because our theme is soft skills. If try to tune around uh, topics around this theme. So let's see how it goes. Okay. So shall we begin? The roller coaster ride. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, can I uh, ask the host uh, to give me permission to uh, share my screen? Is that okay? Just uh, cue me once you have made me the co-host or host so that I can share my screen. Can I share? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, today I'm just, um, just to make it a little bit interesting, that's all. I have 10 topics with me and of course you would not be spinning the wheel but I will be spinning the wheel on behalf of you and uh, we have 10 questions behind these these numbers so who is going to be the first volunteer the moment you say that I'll spin so from anyone from the audience any members to begin with and then we'll move on to the guest no one the spinning wheel is waiting. Come on. You can't allow the wheel to just wait. I, I'm eager to click and spin it. So guys, please come forward and pick up. Just show your hands. Oh, okay. I can see Juliet, Toastmaster Juliet. Okay. So with your permission, I'm going to spin the wheel and let's see what number shows up. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, eight. So you have chosen eight. The question for you is soft skills. Has it really helped you anywhere? Soft skills. Has it really helped you anywhere? Over to you, Toastmaster Jimmy. Good evening, everyone. Has soft skills helped me anywhere? I'm a teacher and soft skills should be a part of my teaching experience. You know what? And that's communication. Without communication, do you think we can reach the different milestones or different people at each person? It's impossible. Whether it's going to be a verbal, where we just explain the thoughts of, of the topic which we are going to explain, or if it's going to be nonverbal, I look into each one, eye to eye contact and say, I'm there, do not worry, okay? So all these kind of um, uh, verbal, non-verbal communication is going to really help in the classes every single day. Sometimes when there is no response, I might resent. Should I really resent and continue? Should I really continue to continue the job? It is impossible when I'm not able to get the cooperation from the people. But you know what? The best way is to compete with ourselves, said Louise. Okay, so do the communication with all 
enthusiasm. So over to you, Table, talk, table Topics Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Juliet. Well, with your profession, I think the communication part is the best soft skill that you can have and you practice it. And I'm sure without that, you cannot go forward even a day. Now, let me call upon the next volunteer. Who do we have? Who do we have? Anyone? No one? We can call the guest. Any guests? Uh, we pick one. <laughs> You know, no. we have a uh, Randy who is uh, wants to volunteer. Have. Yeah? You have to pick. Vipi, go ahead and pick. Who is that? Sanji. Sanji. Okay. And know if I can see him or her. Okay. Fine. Now, with your permission, I'm going to spin the wheel and I'll see what number, what question comes up. Okay. All right. Yay! Okay, we are on five. The question is, what are the key in ingredients to building a good relationship? What are the key ingredients to build a good relationship? And also, I would like to say, please, uh, encouraging you all to use the word of the day. Okay, thank you, Juliet, for reminding me that. Over to you, Toastmaster. Um, wow. Um, um, I guess the keys to building a good relationship is you have to trust them. I guess you have to trust whoever you're want to be like, whoever you're going to be friends with or whatever. Um, you have to trust them. You have to be honest to them. You have to understand that they're basically in the same position as you and you can just, just judge, judge them. Um, you also have to like listen to them. You have to understand their problems instead of saying, oh, I have that problem too or something like that. You have to understand their problems. You have to, you have to give them a re reason to trust you first, if you understand what I mean. Um, I'm not sure how to use the word of the day in this context, but um, that, yeah, that's what I mean. Thank you, Toastmaster Sanji. And I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sanji? Yes, you are. Cool name. Okay, I think in your speech, I noticed that you've listed down two uh, important soft skills. I know for sure that, uh, uh, what do you say? You mentioned trust and also you mentioned one more thing. I forgot now. There were two. Honesty. Honesty, yes. These are two, one of the key things to build our EQ. So, uh, good job on that. Moving on to our next volunteer. Who do we have? Who wants to spin this spin this wheel? Our surgeon attempts. Are you itching? You're thinking about it. Do you want to get the next question <laughs> or anyone else? Maybe, maybe Sahar. Sahar. I'm trying my best to spot him on the screen. Where is he? Azad, do you want to try? Yeah, we'll go. Okay. Come on. With your permission, I'm going to spin the wheel. Let's see which number you get. <clears throat> oh, three. Nice. Name any one soft skill that you use the most. Name any one soft skill that you use the most. Over to you, Toastmaster Azad. Uh, good evening, Toastmasters and the guests. Name any one soft skills that you used. Uh, can you repeat that, please? Uh, name any one soft skill that you used. Yes, 
name any one soft skill that you use the most uh, well <laughs> tell us somebody interested yeah so we have two two uh, two volunteers at the same time okay uh, i think azad you can go first and the next one i'll pass it on to you sahar no worries all okay Uh, yeah, fine. fine. Oh, okay. Uh, one soft skill that I can, I have been using the most is like being a technical lead. I see like uh, knowledge gathering, knowledge transfer, is one of the important skill soft skill that I think should be perceived. When you do a knowledge transfer from whatever that you have learned, and from your experiences that you pass it on to other members. Uh, there are people who think that it is uh, really insecure, or they feel that uh, by doing a knowledge transfer, do I be surpassed? As it's really not the same. If you you transfer the knowledge more, you are going to gain more. For sure, that knowledge is one of the soft skill that you have to. I think we have to perceive. Um, So, uh, doing that, uh, we are again going to gain our. Uh, uh, in one way, we will be able to do a mentoring job properly. I think leadership grows uh, by giving better knowledge. The leadership grows as well. So, resign from such negative things that that you feel this is going to bother. This is going to give a negative impact. No, not like that. Whatever comes through your way, whatever, whatever the experiences that you have come across, please share your knowledge. That is one of the very good soft skills. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Azad. I couldn't agree more because in during our workplaces, it's I've no I've come across people who have kept. Uh, to themselves, the knowledge transfers. Knowledge transfer is really important, and it's it's the one thing that actually helps us while we are doing it, and helps the others while they are getting it, while they're receiving it. Uh, often at times, people don't give away the knowledge that you that you have, and they keep it constrained. And that is one of the most important things in soft skills. It's just not the matter of knowing everything, but you have to share it as well. So, good job on that. now moving on to our next do we have time uh, for one more um one more speaker or shall we uh, kind of, you know end timer and bp <laughs> if you could help me in that <laughs> 20 uh actually uh, we don't have time but you could go for one more if yes we have okay. toastmaster sahar thank you uh, thank you timer gilda uh we can uh, get you the questions sahar you've been itching to spin the wheel okay so with your permission let's see what number you have oh pretty close okay good one is an easy one actually do you prefer a written or verbal confrontation do you prefer a written or verbal confrontation over to you hi and uh, thank you to having me uh, in this meeting um since i'm a sort of a uh, target Uh, we lost her. We couldn't hear. Ah, uh, Sahar, are you there? We can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, Or... yes. Now we can hear you. Can okay, you? so <laughs> should I start again? Or yeah, sure. Go ahead. I think she's not audible. I think her line is. Uh, her yes, I think her internet uh, yeah. connection is unstable. Yeah. So let's move no on. No issues. Now. No issues. We'll move on. Thanks, 
for all the thanks to all the volunteers who've come up and uh, you know uh, taken part in the table topics had a wonderful time hosting this over to you to toastmaster of the day rinku thank you jona a uh, very engaging and entertaining uh, roller coaster ride oops a table topic session so before i hand over the stage to our general evaluator just going to for two more key points uh, from uh, soft skill learning the best way to build power, uh, soft skill is through continuous learning in the flow of work soft skills don't come naturally to everyone but with the ongoing reflection learning and practice anyone can hone these skills trying to hone numerous soft skills at once can be overwhelming decide on a set of skills that align with your nature of work personal professional lifestyle next one is empathy when you have empathy it means you can understand what a person is feeling in a given moment and understand why other people's actions made sense to them empathy helps us to communicate our ideas in a way that makes sense to others and it help us to understand others when they are communicating with us be empathetic now with this uh, our third segment which is general evaluation and today our general evaluator marcus uh, Rinko, a... can i disturb you i will yeah. launch a poll you you continue oh. your uh, speech but i will launch a poll for best table topics best table topic okay so marcus is a vp membership uh vp membership of west hill toastmaster uh west hill toastmasters in calgary canada and a member of dynamically speaking toastmaster in lethbridge canada he is an avid speaker at conferences and webinars on business analysis and project management topics he is also an area director in district 42 let's put our hands together to welcome Marcus on our virtual stage to conduct the general evaluation session. Marcus, the stage is yours. Thank you very much, Rinku. I must confess, I want to start out by saying that Rinku has done a fabulous job today, and I really, really loved Dipti's speech. It had me on the floor laughing, as I could see from the general view that everyone else was laughing as well. Let me begin by talking about Christopher Almedia. He really started off this speech fabulously with "Put you in a box." I really liked that theme, how it echoed. Excellent introduction. Before I go any further, I know that I've been given about twelve minutes, but we're short on time, so we'll try and make that about half the time that's required. Today's theme is soft skills, and the word of the day: rescind or resigned. can be pronounced either way asad the grammarian gave a fabulous introduction gilded the timer again explained how the timing would be done very well and dr juliet describing the a counter so each of these roles were really articulated emphatically to the audience so for even new guests who didn't understand or don't understand what the toastmaster rules are these three the grammarian the timer and the act counter really spelled out those roles very effectively let's move on to louis our keynote speaker of the day and someone who is in a similar time zone to myself he presented in front of the camera i must say louis this is one of the most creative forms of speeches that i've ever seen not only did you move us with your speech but you moved us through your house I must confess you had enough guts to show us your wife at the side but I really really enjoyed a few things and I want to spend a bit of time talking about those things that really were pronounced in his speech turn on your cameras he said I think this is very vital for any meeting especially at toastmasters some people have connection issues like we saw with Sahar today and in that case I could understand yes you would probably want to to turn off the image to lower the bandwidth or sorry to, to be, not be affected by the lower bandwidth louis also talked about increasing the quality of your speeches how do we do that and he spelled it out in four or five different ways using a fabulous background contrast and background 
having a very creative presentation by eliminating any objects on you like pins. How do you position the camera? Make sure it's at the same height as you. And there needs to be a light behind you. As you can see, my light is, and he inspired me to turn mine on. I had forgotten about it, so thank you for that. And last but not least, enthusiasm. We all have to have a clear and good message. And it's really, really good to articulate that with enthusiasm, as I hope I'm doing in this general evaluation. There were a few comments about Louis' speech. Christopher said it was an engaging session. Rinko said it was an electrifying and informative session. Juliet said it was an excellent session. You can see from the comments that we all agree. It was absolutely fabulous. And Rinku moved on further after that to talk about how we should communicate effectively as today's theme is all about soft skills. And communication was at the heart of that. Mm -hmm. Again, echoed by Riku as often as possible. Dipti speech, born humorous. Dipti, you're a born Toastmaster. There's no doubt about that. A few things that popped up from her speech. The audience was spellbound with inspiration. I like how you use that word, spellbound. And the more motivational, the more humorous you became. I like that contrast as well. And Toastmasters turns you into a better speaker. That's what we're all here for, is to become better speakers. And Jonah went on with the table topics. Fabulous speakers, Juliet, Saneji, and Azad, thank you very much for your evaluations. Just to end quickly, I want to add, I am a member of a third club called Firebirds Collective. It's an online club. It's been around for about four years. So with that said, fabulous, pres sorry, fabulous presentations today and a spectacular meeting. And back to you, Rinku, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, can you have the evaluation, please, from Shweta to Dipti for Dipti's speech? Role players report. And role players report. Role players report. We start with role players report, uh, and then we can go for the evaluation. Or Shweta, would you like to come first? Yeah, Maybe I don't mind evaluation. going in now. Yes, okay. I'll, I'll take okay. it. Yes. So general evaluator, uh, Toastmaster of the evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests of Club Toasted, warm greetings to one and all. And once again, I am back this time just to address the person whom I've had my eyes on for tonight. Yes, my target speaker, Toastmaster Deepthi Partners. Toastmaster Deepthi Partners has proved that she's not just born humorous, but her tragedy of being an inspirational speaker, speaker has become a comedy for others. But, but jokes apart, in the contrast, her comedy has become my tragedy as an evaluator because it has been definitely a challenge to evaluate an amazing speech delivered by Toastmaster Deepti Partners. So tonight, my evaluation of Toastmaster Deepti Partners will focus on the areas that she's excelled and the areas that she can improve on and something that you know she can rescind if, if ever she wants to. Toastmaster Deepti has excelled in clarity because her spoken language was very clear and has been easily understood. And this one, this one was able to be better because of the, the range of vocal variety that she's exercised, where she explained, where she this, she has demonstrated her range, especially when she fell before she before she fell into the stage in DTAC 2019. And whenever she was explain, explaining her conundrums on being and on wanting to be an inspirational speaker, whenever her members approach her to be the contestant for the humorous category once again. And not only that, she has executed great, a um, great deal of eye contact. She was looking straight in the camera, but not only just the camera, but she was also looking around 
which is the bare minimum that was required, but she has effectively executed that. She was very well uh, aware of the audience and she appeared very comfortable and confident. That shows her experience as a professional speaker as such. And she has um, exhibited great uh, body language and gestures, especially while tripping over before uh, going to the stage or when she was trying to communicate with a member on wanting to be the contestant on a specific category, being a contest table or a contest chair, whatever she still wishes to term it as. And she has effectively captured her interest. These were her shining areas. And Deepthi, what I personally think that you could work on is your conclusion. Deepthi, you have your speech was very good for an icebreaker. It was it demonstrated your transition very well. However, as you demonstrated your transition, what was missing in your conclusion was your call of action. Like an inspirational speech requires a humorous lube to make it more effective. Similarly, I personally feel that a hu an inspirational element would be required for a humorous speech, especially with the conclusion, just to add a little bit of um, substance to your content but on the whole it was a very well uh, delivered uh, speech the content was really strong and re it really supported you and i'm looking forward to more speeches of yours in the future back to you can you have a report from tag please tag team timer our counter and grammarian gilda how are you doing so far okay Toast. Am I audible? Yes. Keynote speaker did. Oh, my other note is right here. 27 minutes 56, which is okay. It was very interesting session. Question and answers four minutes. Speaker uh, Toastmaster Deep T five minutes 53 seconds. Uh, table topics were all on time. Evaluator on time, three minutes, 12 seconds. Back to you. Thank you, Gilda. Uh, our counter, can we hear from you? Thank you, Timothy. So the our counter report. So the number of hours used today was seven. Mm, three times, so twice, like, three times, you know, you know, three, three times. Of course, all of them did very well. And as a part of the listener, I thought, let me do something extra. I would like to have some questions to you to see whether all of them really listened to the session very well. Can I ask you some questions from the session? <laughs> Thank you, Christopher, confirming. Mm, let me start with asking the first question. The soft skills is also known as what? Can anyone raise your hand so that I can ask that as a person to tell the answer? Yes, Christopher, I see your hand. Power skills. Bingo, it's right. <laughs> the second question. So in the research of Harvard University, they found that there's some percentage of uh, success is required from soft skills. What was that percentage, the number? Yes, Gilda. <laughs> I was doing that. Oh, sorry. Uh, honesty, she said. No, the percentage, the percentage of soft score. Yes, Jonah. Oh, 85%. Excellent. Yes, Gilda, you're right. So in the session today, the third question. Who said, in the session today, who said the statement? Let's compete with ourselves. Let's compete with ourselves. Who said this? Louis. Keynote speaker. Yes, it was Louis Tobecker. Right answer. Uh, this is a question which I leave a lot of listening. Let me see who's going to tell the right answer. What were the five elements focused by Louis in front of camera session? Can anyone try all the five? Yes, Noor, go ahead. What is the background, distance, okay. um, uh, the height of the camera, the lightning, and the enthusiasm? 
Wow, excellent. Excellent answer, Noor. Fantastic. This shows that how good our team is listening and how effective our meeting is going on. Thank you. Over to you, T. Modi. Thank you, Juliet. Well contacted our counter and listener role. Uh, coming back to Grammarian, uh, can we have your report, Azad? Hi. Um, today, the word recent. I saw it's been used by Louis Dorbecker one time, and uh, and in fact by me one time. <laughs> the rest of them, I don't feel like they haven't used this word. Uh, the general evaluator described it one time, Marcus, about the word recent and the ways of pronouncing it. Uh, he has mentioned it. That's it for me, only two members. There is no improper usage of any any grammatical word that I could see. It's fine. Thank you, Azad. Before I hand over uh, the virtual stage to our presiding officer, distinguished Toastmaster Chris, uh, I'm going for the last key point of soft skill, which is kindness. Wear kindness. Spreading kindness offers us the opportunity to connect with others, building a strong sense of community and unity with friends, family, neighbors, even with strangers. If you look at the demand of skills from CEO, want the human skills, they want soft skills, they want skills and ability to prioritize to lead to work in a team to be flexible, to be adaptable. These are the things people really want. Once again, I would like to emphasize on the recent research from Harvard University that 15% job success depends on your, uh, on your technical skills and 85% from your soft skill. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, I would like to leave a message today. Hone your soft skills enhance your soft skills, which will help you to accomplish your goal much faster than you ever think. Back to you, presiding officer, DTM, Christopher. Wow, let's give her a big round of applause, Rinko. What a lovely evening. You not only sharpened your soft skills, you made a difference into everyone's life present here. What an amazing meeting. Let me share with you what I learned from our international president, Margaret Page. In our November 20, 2021 international magazine, she spoke about the three, two, one practice, which she recommends all our members to practice. The first one is to catalog something that you have learned. And today, while this meeting was happening, I captured some interesting stuff that I learned. So make sure that you catalog what you have learned, take notes of the observation. Second is give unique compliments. And today, a keynote speaker, the role players for this meeting, every one of you deserve a big thunderous applause for an amazing job. I and all the audience present here have learned so much. So give that unique compliment that our members deserve. And the first is make sure that you are grateful. Say thank you to whatever you have achieved, whatever you have learned during this meeting. So a big, big thank you to all for attending this meeting and sharing the wonderful learnings that we have got during this meeting. Thank you. I will share the Toastmasters International Magazine on this chat so you all can uh, go through it when you have time. Now with this, let's announce the winner of our table topic segment. And the winner is, any guesses? Who is the winner for the table topic segment, which was conducted by Jonah? No guesses. And the winner is on the screen. 
Juliet Jayasurya. Let's give her a big round of applause. She is on hat trick. <laughs> yes, Juliet has been winning the table topic segment continuously for the last couple of meetings, and today with Thank her you. enthusiasm, you see her taking up the role of a listener, and she did a fabulous job this evening. We are currently with 16 members uh, who have registered with a club toasted, and we are three members short, and we are very close on chartering this club. So I request all our members and guests, please encourage your members and friends to join Toastmasters. Toastmasters is an international pr platform in 149 countries, 330,000 members around the world. So why don't we get ourselves registered immediately? So what what are we waiting for? If this platform is changing your life, why not you change somebody else's life? Having said this, I would like to call upon our area director Dipti Potnis for any business announcement before we adjourn the meeting. Uh, thank you, thank you, Christopher. Uh, next uh, meeting will be uh, now. Club Toasted is going to be chartered in Area Twenty Eight, and Area Twenty Eight is coming up with a confluence meeting. So all the three clubs which are there in Area Twenty Eight is are going to have a combined meeting on twenty third of November, which is Tuesday, and. we would as a club toasted we would like to join that meeting so let us uh, join that meeting as our second meeting of november and i'll share the details shortly so you can know your area very well and you can get to see the other three clubs also in our area thank you thank you dipti i would like to call upon our guests for their feedback how did they feel sahar i think you have attending our meeting for the first time Yeah. Would you like to share I, a couple of words? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, really enjoyed the uh, speakers' enthusiasm. Uh, they are really passionate about their presentation, and uh, I um, really uh, feel good as a, a visitor. And um, I really like the vibes of uh, the meeting. uh and uh, thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity thank you sahar let's give her a big round of applause the pleasure is all ours this is the best place where you can make mistakes and learn and find out about your hidden talent like we found ours so this is a friendly environment it's a safe environment would like Anyone to see else? you sahar shortly on board <laughs> absolutely who else we have we have chitra also chitra yes chitra can we hear a couple of words from you uh yeah it's uh, it's really very informative and uh, uh, you know uh, i learned uh, 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 it's it's very nice actually uh, i learned lot uh, uh, about uh, soft skills and uh, it is uh, you know power skills it's good Absolutely. Thanks, Chitra. Thanks for have, having. It's a pleasure to have you with us. And as yeah, mentioned yeah. in Rig Veda, let uh, the learning come from all sides. And you know, this is a brilliant platform. Uh, yeah, that's we, true. That's true. It's good actually. We have a Juliet student, Noor, with us. Noor, thanks for attending this meeting. Can we have few words from you? Yes, hi. Good evening. Um I really enjoyed the session. It was really informative. I loved all the speakers enthusiasm. They really uh, hooked me in to be honest. And it was um um it was um it's uh, it's good to know to know to have these types of tips on learning the soft skills. So thank you. great thanks thanks noor and thanks for actively participating i see the enthusiasm that you carried in answering those questions and enthusiasm is contagious yeah so i got it from our sajid adam uh, monica and then it was uh, transformative yeah so i think that's all about enthusiasm karina anything that you would like to highlight yeah it was uh, to everyone um, it was a great session 
uh, I got to uh, learn quite a bit about uh, uh, about different points uh, that I can use to uh, improve my uh, speaking skills. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Karina. You only become a speaker if you speak, and you have to take active participation during the club meeting, like we had. Jonah Vincent, who was a topics master, encouraging everyone to take part in the table topics, and the fabulous and the lovely voice from a general evaluator, Marcus. I love that tone of voice that you have. You know, it's like one of the Toastmasters branding video that is we'll play. You have a lovely virtual presence. We have Sanji. Sanji, would you like to share a few comments about your experience in our club? Uh, sure. Think? I loved it. I loved it. It was so encouraging. It was so nice. It 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 kind of makes you like obviously when you're speaking, you're confident, but sometimes you don't portray as that. And a lot of the speeches talked about how you can portray as confident when you're talking about your speech. And it was encouraging, motivating, and it, it taught me how to speak. Thank you. Thank you, Sanji, for that lovely testimony that you shared with this. I, if there are no comments from any of our members or guests, I would like to adjourn our meeting number six. Meeting six adjourned. Have a great evening. Stay safe. Stay connected. We'll stop the recording now.